I wanted to do something that was really, really, really simple. Greg Brew, Director of Industrial Design for Victory Motorcycles. You know, the first few bikes that we did were, that I did when I got here, we did the Vision, we did the Cross Country, they're big bikes, they got a lot of body work, they got a lot of stuff on them, and we thought about the core and everything, and, um, you know, as I was building my own bike, I was like, nah, I'm gonna build something that's really raw. I've liked bobbers for a long time, ever since, ever since forever. I had buddies that were building them when I was in uh, Design Works, when I was out west. And I always wanted to do something. And, I, and then I thought, gosh, if I could do one with our, with our motor, there wouldn't be another one either, you know? And so the, as I started drawing it, and I kind of got this, I got the frame and everything, and I started thinking about what the bike was gonna turn out like, it's so much like just riding a motor. You know, I just got rid of everything else, and I wanted this really just strip down, strip down, strip down, um, you know, kind of elemental motorcycle. I've always been into cars and bikes and fanatical about both of them. And I remember when I was a kid, I built um, the model of a 1940s era Fueler, like an A-gas um, drag car. And it had all these, all the fuel injectors were coming up out of the hood at all these weird, wacky angles. Like everyone was a different angle. And I remember at the time reading some Hot Rod magazine about, they said they put them at different heights and different angles so they didn't rob air from each other. There was some, some supposed science behind it. And so I thought this was kind of that same kind of look with the injectors coming through the tank. There's some things that I can build myself on here and there's some things that I can't. And then there's some stuff that um, other people actually wanted to build for me, which was cool. I got this guy out in LA to make the seat. It says that uh, four wheels move the body, but two wheels move the soul. And I had a fun time working on it. I had a fun, last summer I had a great time. I was just out here blasting loud rock and roll and, and I just had all my tools just everywhere and just, I was doing the wiring harness and there was just wire everywhere and I just leave it like that and come back the next day and, you know, work, might work on it almost all night long, you know, and I just did that for about two or three months and all of a sudden it was ready to go. The 9th of September, 2009, is the first night it ran. So yeah, wrote 9909 on there. It actually started the first time I tried to start it, which never happens for me. They always, something always is messed up. Probably this is, this is different than anything else we do as a production bike. You know, this is more like my interpretation of the bobber. If you make it really light, it's gonna haul ass too, so that was part of the, the attraction. It is fast, it weighs 514 pounds with gas in it and everything, so it goes. Check out our Bishop Garage t-shirts, hoodies, and trucker caps on bishop-garage.com. Check out Bishop Garage merchandise www.bishop-garage.com